Joining me now is Angelique Diane Rigos. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. So you've done a lot of work to uplift women in science. Why did you decide to champion this cause? Well, that's a great question. I think my real motivation is I've seen too many women in science not reach their full potential and even quit science. And I think giving them skills that will make them more effective in their work so that they can use their scientific skills to have an impact really matters. I didn't have that training, the leadership training that I provide now when I got my PhD and so I made a lot of mistakes. And mistakes are costly. And so I'd like to help other women in STEM avoid at least some mistakes. I mean, obviously everybody's gonna make mistakes, but there are some that you can avoid. So that's really my motivation. And as we look toward the future, why should women especially take charge when we're talking about creating a more sustainable future? I think that the um, time is running out and the trajectory that we're on really hasn't made enough progress. And so we need different brains that are working on these problems. And, and that really um, means that women need to be part of it. And when you talk about different minds, when we're talking about being inclusive, how does creating inclusive environments better equip scientists to take on global problems and issues? Well, because they're global problems, we need to talk to people from other countries because, you know, here we are sitting in our in our world in the United States, and that's not the world of most of the people on the planet. So we're coming up with solutions that we think the rest of those millions of other people are gonna adopt or use. That doesn't necessarily happen, so we need to hear from them. And, and also one of the things we did at the Tata Center is co-create with the people who are gonna use the solutions. So if you co-create with them, then they'll be on board and, and this will be the joint solution that people follow. I think that's true for everything that we do. If you want buy-in, you have to get people involved from the very beginning. Very insightful. Thank you so much for taking the time and sitting down with us. Thank you for having me.